Nobody's allowed back here. Yeah, get lost. Stand aside, ladies. Captain Diabetes and his sidekick need to question that stripper. You want to get to her? You're going to have to go through us. Bring it on. All right, guys, this is your DJ back from the bathroom. Looks like we've got a special treat for you tonight. The two assholes that farted in my drink are about to get fucked in the face by our very own lovely ladies. Motherfucking cocksucky little prick! I'm gonna kill you! Give it up for Paris! Ooh la la, need I say more, Dad? We can't let her get away, Sidekick! She comes to us straight from the Coca Cabana. You know who I mean. A big hand for our luscious Mona. Whoa, Mama. Lay off my sidekick. You can't stand up to my crusty sidekick. Did it just get a lot spicier in here? Oh, that's why it's Esmeralda. Head for the end of the hallway. Oh, hell no. I ain't getting mixed up in this combat shit. <laughs> Bitch, protect my ass. <laughs> yeah, nice catch, fuck face. There's no reason for this to get ugly. the day shift, give it up for Blaze. Hey, can we turn the house lights down just a touch? Back on, sidekick. Take them out, bitches. What you waiting for? Hey, I got my stank on that one. She can smash a watermelon between her thighs. It's Anastasia. Keep moving towards the exit, sidekick. You want some of this? Get the cover! It's raining right pussy! Get that sack hit! Did you bitch slap your mama like that? Shame on you! Cause she'll stick you right up her butt. It's Rhonda. We can't let her get away, Sidekick. Come and get me, boy. Here's a treat. Yo, face better not have fucked up my girl now. Watch out for our next dancer, people. She's the undefeated titan of twerking. Say hello to Trixie. We've got to catch class. Down the hallway, Sidekick. Quick, quickly. Tell them what you're made of, Sidekick. Oh, you 
little bastards done fucked up. Go get them, Bootay. Look out, ladies and gents. Here comes the queen of quippies, the mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's spontaneous Bootay. Hey, honey, you ain't ready for this Bootay. I'm gonna crush you in my booty cheeks. I hear that some miners need some crushing. You get him, Bootay! Oh my god, she'll crush it alive with her massive butt. If you run now, you may live to brag about this. We're really very sorry you had to come to violence, lady. I'm up! <laughs> yeah. Sorry, ladies, we'll take a ring check. Let's get out of here. Ready or not, I'm coming. I'm coming! Ooh. Fair warning, that ass kills. Check this shit out! Come here, baby.
Meanwhile, at the Hall of Super Best Friends. Let all debts be forgiven and all slaves free. This time, honey, I'm gonna go rest my bootay. Hey, let me in, you asshole. The cops are here. What? Get inside. Go on, scram. I ain't afraid to use this thing. Even my diabetic rage can't move this sign. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> it's too much. <sighs> I need my insulin. My... I need my... Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm out of insulin. You got to help me. I drank the apple juice, but I don't have any insulin. I'm going into diabetic shock. I'm... I'm dying. Oh, God. Mom. Mom, I'm dying. Somebody, please. Please. <sighs> This is Coon checking in. How's it going for you guys? Everything cool over there? Okay, keep me updated. You know what makes my fart super bad? Handcrafted Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex. Not just any handcrafted Tex-Mex. It's gotta be something extra special. You know what to do, new kid. Alcoholic. <laughs> you didn't. I did. I said, I said you. Can't even go a day without scotch, you lush. <laughs> I just don't get how these people can get high every night and feel like it's okay. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're sticking a cat's ass in your face, would anyone you like obviously to aren't happy with your marriage. There they are. Where's the girl? She was just here. You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy sinking our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. Come on, 
we need to get all this fast than the meatballs out to, to the customers. These guys look dangerous, Jacket. Hey, you get out of here. Hey, Michael, get more heat on the pursuit to stand me all again. Don't forget the man now. I'm gonna turn you into a bracciola that make it the mouth water. Get him. <laughs> Pretty sure I can fit your whole body in a stockpot, little shits. I'm gonna show you why kids ain't allowed back here. under a brick. Okay, let's see what you got, new kid. Ooh. Wow, I'm almost impressed. Guess we can store your corpses in the walk-in for a good six weeks. So many pots and pans for that. You're about to become just another stain on my apron. The coon will bring you dastardly chefs to justice. Wow, we're just making the pasta and the scallopini. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one bleeds real nice. Hey kid, you ever been spatchcocked before? I don't like the sound of that. You ever clean out a grease trap, kid? Well, you're gonna. I'm totally in the shit here. I'm gonna violate your health code. That makes no sense. Yeah. That ought to break down your collagens. Kill them when you're in, butthole. Smash them, butthole. I'm gonna force feed you corn and harvest your fatty liver. Hold still! Yeah. Now that's a left-handed spatula. Sorry to break up the pizza party. Kitchen is a disgrace. Definitely mentioning that in my Yelp review. You motherfucking Yelp reviewers can put your tongue in my asshole. You guys got any more fresh breadsticks while we wait? No breadstick for you. Take abuse from the head chef in this kitchen. I'm a sending you home to mama in the doggy bag. Watch and learn, newbie. The coon's on deck. The rest of you, try not to die. Yeah. Uh, it's 
It's like I'm making the pasta out of the green over here. That's tenderizing. Captain Guy B, prepare the strike! Now I'm here! If yeah. they touch me again, I'm making you all bust, boys! We got to finish this! Those eye lasers set for defrost or something? Kick up the intensity, human guys. Worry about your own shit, coon. Now I pounded your noodle into this risomi. Mm. Oh, me oh mama, I'm like a lamb to the slaughter. Yeah. <laughs> Do that again and I flatten you like a like a de de de, de piadina. Physical damage, my favorite. Yeah. You want a cream fresh bukake with that? Hell fucking no. Here we go. I still make you squeal like a sow. But... Look. Ha, <laughs> you got screwed. Watch this new kid. I'm going to do something fucking sweet. on this kid, he's done. Real superhero shit. Oh, Carbohydrate Crusaders were 
no match for the coon and friends. Huh, sidekick? Classy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I could easily lift this out of our way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. Hmm, maybe we could trigger my diabetic rage somehow. Of course, with my super strength, I could knock it over. But I can't use apple juice without my insulin. We need to find a way to tip that over without resorting to apple juice. I'm such a mild-mannered superhero, it's almost impossible to push me into a state of blind rage. Except... Wait, that's it! Your farts, sidekick! Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage! Of course! The coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers! We've got to get through there and get the classy, sidekick. For the good of South Park. For coon and friends. I need you to fart on my face. Don't be shy. Just tell me where to stand. Ready when you are. Ugh. One diabetes rage coming up. We did it. The path is clear. It's hard for me to lose control of myself. But if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, sidekick, know that you can fart in my face. Your amazing afterpowers could clear the way. Tyson, the path is blocked. Perhaps, Tyson, your, perhaps, Tyson, perhaps, Tyson, perhaps, Tyson, perhaps, Tyson, perhaps your amazing afterpowers could clear the way.
the cops were chasing me. And you let them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who are you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. But that is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah, what the? I want my keys. I don't have your keys, man. Ah! Ah! Wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive! Then... Die! You're being unreasonable, Mr. Marsh. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you... The print. Uh-uh, that's not fair. Y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people's turns and shit. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. This might sting. Ah! I feel no pain! Fuck him up, butthole. Sharon's texting me. Can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why my thumb's so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note, tell my wife. Fuck off. Fighting. Poop emoji. <laughs> my keys. I think we underestimated the power of red wine. This is gonna hurt like hell. Ah, damn, they got you all weak and shit. You better not lose, nigga. You got this, butthole. Oh man, looks like I bet on the wrong horse. Wait, wait, wait! I'm a, I'm a diabetic too, so don't hit me. Captain Diabetes does not make special arrangements for diabetic villains. Sounds pissed. Which one of you assholes told Sharon I was here? 
Hold on, hold on. Be home soon. Looking for my fucking keys. Heart, heart, exos. Like a fucking jungle cat. Oh, uh-huh. Classy like the way you move. That's right, baby. Step aside, coon friends. Daddy's home. You really need to sign up for AA, Mr. Mark. It's go time, butt lord. than I ever wanted to see. Yeah. Not like King Spirit. All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There, nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the streets. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's this little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone cool friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Book of Day Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick? There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. 
You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started fighting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Oh, man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our boring lives. Well, then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king.